having a great day. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a boost leak tester. My 2003 Lancer Evolution is running pretty bad under boost. I already replaced the spark plugs and I replaced the air filter, but it's still running pretty bad. And like I said, every time I get on it, it hesitates pretty bad. So the other the other thing I that I could think of is that it has a pretty bad boost leak. So the things you'll need to make this are some drill bits, the two caps. I bought these at uh, Lowe's. I paid, mm, I want to say a dollar fifty for each cap, threaded cap, and a dollar something for the ends. You'll need some um, <laughs> hose clamps. You'll need a coupler. I'm just using this um, one from work. I This came out of a radiator. So you can probably get one of these from your lo local auto parts store for, um, I don't know, pretty cheap. You don't have to use the angle one. You can use a straight one. I'm going to end up cutting this so I can use it. You'll need um, the part where you, the little fitting you're gonna use to fill up the your intercooler system with air. I'm using just this tire uh, fitting and a drill. Um, so the reason I'm using this uh, uh, fitting it's because uh, many of you guys don't have uh, air compressor laying, laying around so I wanted to show you guys like the easiest way without an air compressor so you're gonna need a, a tire a pump like a, a bike bump or pump sorry uh, but this is this video is gonna be a two-part series or two-part video the first part is gonna be of how I'm gonna make the boost leak tester and the second part is gonna be on how how to use it but um, when you're picking out your drill bits you wanna first pick out your fitting that way you know how big the fitting is so I want it to be that big because this is gonna go from underneath the from underneath the cap so it's gonna be coming out like that and it's gonna be covered So the first thing you want to do is drill your hole. You're going to pick whichever uh, cap you want. I'm going to unthread mine. And you want to put it on the center. So I'm going to use the smallest uh, fitting or drill bit that I have and drill through the middle. And then I'm going to test it out from the bottom so to see if, uh, to see if uh, I can pop it through. Okay, so I ended up uh, drilling and putting on the fitting so I, I just with the I started with the smallest drill and then tested it out then I moved to the second one tested it out and then the last one was a little bit too small so I ended up just uh, moving it around and and I ended up just shoving the the fitting through as you can see um, it's it's on there I mean you can take it off but uh, if you put some you can you can put some glue around the edge or something I'm probably gonna end up doing that so it, it doesn't leak I would just put glue around the the, the fitting but I, I'm pretty sure it shouldn't fit just because the air is pushing at this thing out so I'm pretty uh, sure like I said it won't leak but if you want to be safe I would put a glue around this area to make a seal then the next thing you want to do is get some thread thread uh, nylon whatever you want to call it and I'm just gonna wrap this around this thing uh, I hate using these I like using the the nick uh, liquid uh, thread sealant. I mean, it's a little bit messier, but 
I think uh, it's a lot easier to apply. There you go. Okay, so once you have your your thread sealer, you're just gonna thread it on. Okay, and then you can take a, a pair of uh, channel locks and just tighten it more. That's it for that side. Uh, this side, you're gonna do the same thing. This is the side that's gonna go um, on your, what is it called, on your um, intake manifold. And this is the side that's gonna go to the turbo. Okay. So I'm just gonna put some te Teflon tape around this. Around these. Okay. Okay, this should be good enough. Just one pass. And then just thread it back on. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. So that thing's on there. So, and then um, you can use if you if your car is, um, has good uh, couplers, you can use your couplers too. You don't have to use um, uh, another coupler you can just use the ones that come stock with the car um, you want to go with the size of your turbo since mine is a, a stock turbo mine my, my um, uh, in, uh, turbo intake is pretty small I think it, I believe it's a two and a half so this should fit um, with a coupler on it I'll show you guys how to do that in another video, but but I'll show you guys how this thing is gonna work. Okay, okay. So I made this thing out of an old uh, um, what is it called coolant uh, pressure tester. I ended up swapping the cap for uh, one of these little um, locking air chucks. So what you're gonna do is just put it on, see, and then you're just gonna, you're just gonna fill the air with, uh, or fill the system up with air. So you don't have to use the air compressor with this tile of, uh, of fitting. And you want one, if you're gonna get a, a, a tire uh, pump, you want one that has a gauge, uh, and you wanna run it the same PSI that your car comes with factory, uh, mine is in between uh, 10 and 15 PSI, so I'm going to go probably uh, 13. Um, but yeah, that's how you make it. It's pretty easy to make them. Uh, it only costs me less than 20 bucks to make them. You can buy some... Uh, already made ones they're about 40 bucks um, if you guys want to know where to get them uh, let me know in the comment section I'll put a I'll put a link to them but these are pretty useful to uh, to make if you have a turbo car just because um, your couplers or your clamps are always coming loose on turbo cars from just regular driving and and you'll start uh, seeing uh, boost leaks and your car runs like crap most of the time But yeah, uh, if, if you guys like this video, please uh, subscribe and get a give it a thumbs up if you guys have any questions about the um, Any of the things that you guys seen in this video, please let me know in the comment section But uh, that's everything I have to say so thank you guys for watching and have a great day